Okay, the last thing you need here is I'm going to do a little screen capture and show you where we need to go. So first what you're going to do, uh, in order to get the software you need for the computer, you're going to go to blackmagicdesign.com and here's Adam, a support engineer. <laughs> you're going to hit the support button. The support button will take you to the support center and what you're going to look for is you're going to download the software. It's free. You just have to come here to ATEM Live Production Switchers. So if you click on here, this is going to give you access now to the software that's going to run and integrate all of the components that we have here. In other words, it's going to feed in the ATEM Mini Pro to your computer so that you can control the balance and, and, the, and the switching and so forth. So once you do that, you come here to latest downloads, whether you have a Windows machine or Mac, it's right here, ATEM switchers, update. So even though it says update, you think, oh, well, I, I don't even have it on here. Uh, if you hit update, it will download the entire package. Don't go to the SDK, just go directly to the update. You can hit this to download it. And what will happen is now in your applications folder, so if you go to your application folders, there will be black magic switchers and then you want to hit this when you start, when you launch and you turn on your, all your devices, you'll hit the ATEM software control. So you'll double click that and what will come up is this window here. So this is the ATEM software control. This is the virtual part of what goes on uh, in, inside of this mixer for, I, for the ATEM Mini Pro. So right here it says ATEM Mini Pro. If you don't see it initially, you can always just go to the ATEM software control uh, top at the top left of your screen and say, you know, it, it'll typically, when you turn on the A10 Mini Pro, it automatically recognize it. And so you'd import it. So what you're seeing here is a mixing board. So camera one and camera two, remember camera one is gonna be the actual camera. Camera two is where your iPad is and I can put, I can mix them. So there's two streams, camera one, camera two, that's my iPad as well as my uh, camera, uh, you know, notice that, that I the A10 Mini Pro actually has more cameras, right? You could have up to three or four, so you could have other inputs, but for now, let's just say one and two are the iPad and Mini Pro, and to mix them, you just take this bar here and you put it about halfway up, okay? So this is halfway, so if you go to one side, it's completely the camera. You go to the other side, it's completely the um, uh, your iPad and so when you come here to 5050 it's halfway in between so you set it to halfway in between between this iPad and camera so now you have the mix and I showed you what that mix looks like I actually produced a video for you to look at the other thing you want to do is once you get that mix there are some other components here in fact this is an amazing amazing device and we're only going to do the bare minimum here to get you off the ground so Camera one, camera two, half, half mix. And then you come here to audio on the bottom labels, hit audio, that'll switch you over. And camera one, that's the camera, you turn this on. This is the audio that's on now on the camera. And so what you wanna do is turn that on. And let me turn on actually on the camera. Uh, there, Cam sorry, forgot to turn the camera on. So here you go, when the camera's on you can see this is my audio coming from the camera. And this is the master. So in other words, what it's gonna look at here is there are the four camera jacks, plus you have microphone jacks, so you could also import cameras. But the camera is gonna have its own nice uh, microphone that attaches to the top of the camera. And so once you turn this on, this is actually what's gonna be fed in as your audio. So make sure to turn it on. So for instance here, there's an off button, or sorry, sorry, not that on and off if it's off then you won't see anything in the master mix so what you want to make sure to do is you have to have an audio source so just always turn it on make sure it shows up here in the master so once you have that and the switcher at 50 50 that's it now what you can do uh, is you can basically go to your atem mini pro and on the top right there is a button that says record and once you're ready all you got to do is hit the record button uh, and what you'll see when you do the record button is it will start recording directly to uh, the, the, the drive that's attached 
and when you're ready to stop, you hit the stop button. So again, these are all, this, that's as simple as that. And if you want to do a retake, you just keep filming. You can just hit record and stop, record and stop, put the pieces together. And of course, we can always take those videos and, and combine them later. But all the magic happens right here. This is the 50-50 mix. And again, in post-production, what we're going to do is take this 50-50. We're going to brighten the video up. Uh, and then we'll put this 4K video up on, uh, up on our website. Okay, that is it for this. That's the basic use of this.